Hi, I want to take a minute to show you guys how to open up your meal plan and start making modifications. So first off, it is really important that new members start by sticking to the meal plan as is, as closely as they can in the beginning. This is when your metabolism is going to be enhanced the most. The stricter you stay on it on the front end, the more leniency you're going to have on the back end. So I have developed a plan for you and a sheet for you um, in the event that you want to make simple modifications. So there are two sets of ingredients. There are the essential group of ingredients and the non-essential. Think of it this way. Essential ingredients are those that you absolutely need. Think of it like clothing. Uh, you need a shirt, you need pants, uh, you need the essential clothing items. Non-essential clothing items would be accessories, fun things. So necklace, uh, earrings, a scarf. These things are fun. Uh, they add flavor, they add spice, they add a lot more excitement but you don't need them. And so the non-essential ingredients on your meal plan do exactly that. Flavor, spice, fun, but you don't need them. So if it's a non-essential ingredient, you can omit it completely. You don't even need it. The beauty of this is if you decide that you're not going to use it, you can omit it. It won't make a difference whatsoever, but you could save those calories and use them later that day. Uh, you can't use them the next day, you can't bank them, but you can save them later and use them later in the day. So let me take a minute here and pop open the uh, meal plan so that I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so first off, this is your meal plan. Um, and so you can see here that I have a really rough copy. And if this is your exact meal plan, it's something that's close enough. And by looking at your ingredients here, at this point, you don't know how to identify what is essential, what is non-essential. So to put it plain and simple, your proteins, your uh, complex carbs, and your monosaturated or healthy fats are going to be your essentials. Uh, your non-essentials are going to be just the extras, the fun stuff. And so these non-essential items are going to be your fruit um, and your, your cheeses, your uh, sauces, your salad dressings, your oils, all that stuff that is non-essential. When I say oil, I mean uh, uh, the oils that are not olive oil, the, uh, the, the fatty oils, okay? So I have put together a sheet for you to make this so much easier. And after a while, you are gonna understand this completely and you won't, need, you won't need the cheat sheet. So I'm going to show you the cheat sheet right now. And, and it is right here. It is the macro nutrient uh, cheat sheet. And so on this sheet here, you can see that all of the, um, the blue uh, or the Tiffany blue, um, the sections are the essentials. And by looking at this, you can see that all the proteins are essential. You cannot omit those. You can change them. And if you decide to do substitutions, these are all of the substitutions that you can do. And by looking at what we have here, you can see that you can substitute any protein for any other protein. Um, to take it a step further, you could substitute a protein such as a chicken for a fish. Uh, you can even substitute a chicken or fish for a Greek yogurt or a legume, which is a bean. Um, and going on further, you can even sub out uh, soybean products such as um, plant-based meat products and even uh, tofu. Okay, so these are all essential. So if your meal plan says three ounces of turkey and you wanna sub it out for three ounces of tuna, you could absolutely do that. That's an even exchange, but you shouldn't pull it out completely. Same thing goes with the fats. Uh, all the fats are listed here. Uh, on your meal plan, if you see a line item and it says five um, halves of walnuts, 
Um, the way that I have them listed is, is one exchange. So your five halves of walnuts is equivalent to any one of these. So five halves of walnuts is equivalent to two tablespoons of any nut. So if you don't wanna do the walnuts, you can exchange that for two tablespoons of cashews or two tablespoons of any nut you want. Um, or you can use peanut butter. But if you notice the peanut butter, uh, the peanut butter portion is different. Peanut butter is one tablespoon instead of uh, the, two, the two tablespoons. So just be cautious of that. And by the way, PB2, the powdered peanut butter is not a real source of uh, monosaturated fat because it actually doesn't have fat. And I need you to have that healthy fat. So if you're going to use PB2, um, that is a non-essential. Uh, so you should not pull out the real stuff and put in the substitution because it will slow down your process. Okay. All right. So going on here, you could see some of the other uh, healthy fats. You have avocado, you have olives. Um, and it gets really tricky because avocados and olives come in all different sorts and sizes. So it doesn't matter what kind. Um, and if you want help with the portions, I've even isolated it down to uh, calories. So if on your meal plan, it says you get a salad with avocado uh, and you'd rather have a salad with olives, well, then you're going to take out the avocado and you're going to put in the equivalent in olives, which is going to be about 100 calories worth of olives. Black, green, purple, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, if you rather put nuts on your salad, you can take out that avocado and add the equivalent in calories, which would be 100 calories worth of nuts. But just remember, they can't be candied nuts um, and they can't be nuts that have chocolate and a candy shell on them either. So uh, it has to be equivalent. These are all your fats, okay? Uh, going down to here, we have your carbs. Um, because this is highlighted also in our Tiffany Blue, you have to make sure that you keep this on if it is on your meal plan. And I'll get to that in a second. So if you are eating the Get You Fit Omelet, there is no carb in the Get You Fit Omelet that's not listed. So that doesn't that doesn't apply. You can't, there's nothing to sub out. So, so don't go adding bread to that one. Um, there is nothing there to substitute out. Um, but if you're having the uh, awesome oats and you rather have a uh, half a cup of uh, grits instead, you can do that. Or you'd rather have a half a cup of quinoa, you could do that um, because it's an even exchange. Um, if you rather do a slice of toast, and it could be any toast you want, as long as it's not, uh, again, uh, you know, zucchini toast, <laughs> zucchini bread, um, it, it needs to be equivalent. So you could sub that out and making sure that the calories are equaling 100 to 120. Um, so, so as long as that is just the, the equal exchange, all right? Remember, essential. So you also aren't doubling up. So, so you can't take out the, um, or you can't add in addition to, so you can't say, well, I'm having the oats and I'm going to also add uh, quinoa to it. Um, but that would be like wearing two shirts. Um, you don't want to do that. Okay. So it's an even exchange. All right. Flour tortillas, corn tortillas, equaling 100 to 120 calories. So on your meal plan, when you see your, your uh, turkey sandwich and it says choice of, of toast, you can do any of these. But because there is a bread listed there and it says choice of toast, you can't omit it. Um, you can't decide I'm going to lose weight faster and omit the bread. Mm -mm. You could, however, uh, sub it out and either have a get you fit bagel, um, a small baked potato, uh, corn tortillas, uh, rice cakes, anything on this category. And this is all explained better here. Okay. Um, now keep in mind, uh, if you are um, somebody that uh, is on a lower carb plan, then this is going to apply differently. But again, if it's on your plan and you want to sub it out, that is all you need to worry about. Okay, vegetables. Vegetables, uh, you can grill them, steam them, roast, broil, uh, 
fresh, frozen, it does not matter, okay? If they're green or white, you get unlimited, and this is all in your, in your uh, nutritional guide, um, and you could have really as much as you want, but you still have to log them. Um, I have seen people eat so much asparagus and so much broccoli that it has ended up totaling over two or 300 calories. And, and we need to see that. We need to make sure that you are not going over your calories. Uh, so, so use the word unlimited uh, with caution, okay? So this is how this works. You can use cooking spray when you're prepping, but if you're gonna use oil, then that's gonna count as your, as your fat. So, so be careful with that um, because if your, if your recipe already has a fat, such as olives, and you prepare your vegetables with olive oil, then you're doubling up. Um, and we both know you are not gonna walk around with two pairs of pants on, um, cause that's two essentials. You're not gonna do that, okay? All right, so now let's look at the non-essentials. The non-essentials are all of the fun accessories that you don't need, but oh my gosh, they're so much fun. But this is where people get into trouble. All right, so if you have too many essentials, too many essentials leads to overweight. It leads to us not figuring out why we are gaining weight. And these are where all of the hidden calories are in, okay? So believe it or not, fruit is considered non-essential. Um, I feel like I'm the bearer of bad news with this. Uh, every single session, every time I have this speech, fruit is a natural sugar. Um, there are minerals, there are vitamins, it's wonderful, it's good for you, but in the end, it's still sugar and your body metabolizes it as sugar, it will turn to fat. So you don't need it. Um, so use it sparingly, you'll notice on your meal plan, um, I have fruits throughout, but you never see a fruit stand alone. Um, and you will always, always, always have to measure your fruit because um, I have sat down with a bowl of cherries before and I have eaten 300 calories worth. And believe me, it's, it's a bowl because one cherry is easily 10 calories and same for grapes. Um, watermelon uh, is way higher than you think. It's not just water, it's loaded in sugar. So be careful with that. All right, looking at this, uh, salad dressings, sugar-free jelly or jam, feta, blue cheese, laughing cow cheeses, all your cheeses that are on your meal plan, they're there, but they're non-essentials. So if you see that you have cheese on your omelet, breaking out my necklace again, you have cheese on your omelet and you really don't want the cheese, you don't have to have it. You could just omit it. And now you've saved yourself 80 to 100 calories. And I'll talk to you about what you're gonna do with those calories later, okay? Um, catch up that adds up. Um, your, your mayonnaise, your mustards, your coffee creamers, um, you can have them, but you have to count it and it's going to add up. And, and you're going to see a lot of non-essential things on your meal plan because you, you need them. Um, I mean, my gosh, look at my, look at my, I'm stacked with accessories. I love my accessories, but um, when it comes to food and eating, you do have to be careful with them because that's where you're going to go over in, in your calories. And you can get really smart with them by using lower sugar um, items. There's a ton of sugar-free uh, salad dressings out there, a ton of sugar-free barbecue sauces. But if you're not careful, you are going to go over. Okay. And then also here are the fruits. I put them in order of uh, best uh, to worse. And when I say best, I mean, uh, the top ones are the lowest in sugar, highest in fiber, which means your body is going to respond better to them with weight loss. And then the ones on the bottom, um, are, as they get lower, uh, are, are higher in, in sugar. So in order, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, pears, green apples are the lowest, um, apples, prunes, and plums. Now I have not listed the rest of them because the rest of them are really not ideal if you are trying to lose weight. Oranges, peaches, melons, grapes, cherries, those are extremely high in sugar. So high that in fact, you're, you're better off eating Skittles. Um, the only thing different is uh, with fruit, you're getting vitamins and minerals. Um, and so sugar to sugar though, content is the same. 
Okay, so that is how this works. All right, so let's go back to our meal plan here. And I'm going to show you how you can be creative and how you can um, put together some substitutions that can save you some calories so that you can um, maybe have a glass of wine at the end of the day or a get you fit treat from one of the samplers or um, a little dove chocolate or something that you might want. Okay, so let's let's just pull, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with this top one. All right, so half a cup of cooked oats, you have to have that, okay? Um, if you don't wanna have the milk, milk is not essential. If you wanna make your oats with water, um, then you're gonna save yourself some calories there. Uh, the apple I just said is not essential. It's fun, it's exciting. You're gonna get a little crunch. If you don't want the apple, that's 80 calories that you're gonna save. All right, you don't have to have the apple. Now keep in mind, if you're gonna be hungry though, then put the apple in, because I don't believe in going into any meal hungry. But I'm just giving an example. If you'd rather put in blueberries or strawberries or, or plums or any of the ones that are higher on the list, that is a really smart thing to do. Uh, your walnuts, you cannot pull out your walnuts. That is an essential fat. And I will tell you that probably, mm, I'd say seven out of 10 new people pull out the fats thinking that they're being smart and saving themselves calories, that's the wrong thing to do. Um, the healthy fat's gonna help you uh, burn fat and it's going to help you stay full, okay? So that is how you do that. All right, so let's scroll down here and let's look at a lunch. Um, let's just say I am having the uh, chicken, uh, chicken pita, okay? Um, the lettuce, the cucumber, uh, the grated carrot, the four ounces of chicken. Uh, if I wanna have tuna instead, I could do that. Um, if I wanna add different vegetables, I can do that as long as they're green and white. Uh, half of a large pita round or gluten-free bread of choice. If I want to use uh, any bread, I can use any bread I want. Um, and a half a cup of hummus. Well, where does hummus fall? Uh, if it's not on the list, then it is a non-essential. And so if you don't wanna use the hummus, you don't have to use the hummus. The hummus is there for creaminess, for texture. Um, you don't need to use it. If you pull it out, then you've saved yourself calories, all right? And so in the end of the day, when you have extra calories left over, um, if you're allowed 1500 and it's end of the day and you have 1300, well then you can use those calories for that glass of wine, for one of the get you fit cookies from the sampler, um, or you don't have to wait till the end of the day. Um, if you're a coffee drinker and you really just need your coffee cream and you'd rather use your 100 calories from your apple for your coffee cream, as long as it's equal. But do not do what I used to do back before I was get you fit. I used to think I was being smart and I would omit the protein out of my salad to enjoy 200 calories worth of Tootsie Rolls at the end of the night. And I thought this was a brilliant discovery. Um, this was back when I was a fitness instructor and I was actually teaching 15 classes a week, um, three and four classes a day. And believe it or not, after a few weeks of that, I gained five pounds because I was turning in protein important protein for straight sugar. So you don't wanna do that. Okay, so finally for dinner, um, you could pick one of your dinner choices. And if you pick one of your dinner recipes, then that is already set. You don't have to worry about any manipulation except for uh, if you wanna sub proteins out or you wanna sub um, you know, some of the ingredients out. So if you are making your um, get you fit, um, uh, beef stew and there's potatoes in there, but you want to put rice in there. You want to use, um, you know, grandma's, uh, uh, you know, old different, whatever she put uh, pasta in there. As long as it is the same amount, that is fine. And, and it will come out even, but you could also put together your own dinner. And looking here at the, at the meal plan, uh, you get four to six ounces of protein. Women get four, men get six. 
uh, your vegetables unlimited, your half a cup of uh, rice potato quinoa pasta, your fat, and then your other veggies if you wanted to add the corn or the peas. So looking at this, what I would then do is I would hop over here to my charts, uh, my life-saving charts, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together a quick dinner. I'm going to have salmon, which is going to be here, four ounces of salmon. I'm going to have a small baked potato. Again, it's going to be 100 calories. So that's where I'm going to put on the food scale. Make sure it's 100 calories, which believe it or not, it's going to be probably, well, definitely smaller than my fist. Um, I, my healthy fat is going to be, uh, well, it can't be butter because butter is not on here as a healthy fat. So I'm going to just put some um, um, 10 olives on the side. Uh, then um, I already got my carb. I'm gonna steam up a bunch of broccoli. And because I really, really, really need to have a little butter on my, um, on my uh, potato, I am gonna put a little butter on there, um, but I am gonna measure it. Uh, and uh, where am I? I'm in the wrong, wrong area here. Oh, it's somewhere here, non-essentials, there it is. Um, you want to make sure that you keep your non-essential uh, at 100 to 120 calories per portion. So I'm gonna make sure I don't put more than 100 calories worth of butter on my potato. And now I have created my meal. Um, and if you look down here, I have put together a bunch of sample meals that you could uh, create with that rubric. Okay, so super important information. Uh, do not pull out the essentials. Your metabolism will slow down. Um, yes, you are gonna have a lower calorie amount at the end of the day, but that is not going to serve you any purpose, especially when it comes to weight loss. If you lose weight at a lower calorie amount, then you are stuck at that metabolic burning rate forever. So I have put you at a rate that you're gonna lose at. And then once you lose, we are going to slowly uh, increase your caloric amount so that you can actually get more calories throughout. So stay at that number. You do get a 200 calorie um, uh, bumper. You can go over by 200 and, or under by 200. Don't consistently go over by 200 every day or under by 200 every day. That is there for those kind of just inconsistent emergencies where we don't know where we're gonna fall at the end of the day. If you are supposed to be at 1500 and you end at 1700 every day, um, you're not going to see the result that uh, I have planned out for you to receive. And on the flip side, if you stick at 1300 every day, you're gonna end up with a slower metabolic rate, okay? So just a quick summary on uh, what is coming your way. So I hope this helped. And don't forget, if you're ever confused, just shoot me a text and never ever hide because I'm here to help. Have a great day.